Okay. Whoops, okay. we got too much going here. <clears throat> okay. Uh, back again. Didn't take long at all to figure out I made a mistake. Um, let's go to the desktop again. I got my... So, look over down here at the... Right in, down here where my mouse is, where I'm shaking my mouse. Start streaming. I click start streaming. And OBS immediately crashed. And I made sure it wasn't in, running in the background there in my system monitor. And then in a minute you get the notice saying we're sorry OBS crashed. If you'd like to resolve the issue report and all that stuff. I can't actually even report things. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I know my, I, I remember this from over a year now, I know my password and everything to uh, ABRT bug reporting. I can go log in on the website, but when I try to do it with the, you know, click the report on any, any application when it has trouble, it's all the way through the whole darn thing and then gets to the end, it's just uploaded and then it's, it won't, doesn't work. And I've tried and tried recently, <clears throat> tried my, I thought, okay, I thought, okay, maybe they, you know, I've got a username and an email address that I use with them, and uh, of course, I haven't actually went and logged in on the pa on the website lately, or did I? I, I haven't lately, I guess. Anyway, I get tired of messing with it. Um, it so I couldn't. It wouldn't matter anyway if I reported it. I would just maybe, you know, there's a, probably a two percent chance that I'll ever hear from them or anything. They'll just. <clears throat> And they might write back and say, email me and say, would you run a command or something? Would you confirm, you know, whatever by running these commands? Which is fine, but it can happen in a few days to a few couple of two or three months. So um, it's still helpful, you know, to overall for the Fedora project and everything. Or it might end up being an ABRT, I mean, an OBS Studio problem or whatever but and then you can find that out i used to do it more uh <clears throat> when i first got into linux and in, uh, Fedor, from fedora 5 till about 11 i used to do it a lot I mean, it helped me a lot because i they i would learn things that way and it helped it didn't uh, like i said take a long time but uh, sometimes i actually got something fixed too usually it would get fixed by uh, updates before i ever really <clears throat> got through <laughs> hearing from them or whatever uh so anyway uh, back to okay, so I renamed Audio Cam to to desktop, right, right here in the main, uh, you know, right here, like that. Right click, rename. Okay, now now I remember why I left it like that because uh, let me see. Okay, one in desktop. Well, you can still see the desktop. Guess what? Every single one of them is named now named Audio Two to desktop. So I, that's why I just, and that's why I did a bunch of research. I finally remember, and why I decided it must be, it might be a problem with. Uh, it's well, I went through checking the codecs and all that stuff that I was using, make sure I didn't accidentally something didn't get changed by accident, because uh, I had been in those settings recently, kind of trying things out. Uh, <clears throat> so then I thought, well, maybe it's a, a bug. You know that sprung up in an up recent update of OBS, or something in Fedora that made it not compatible, or something, or something with YouTube, and they stop, uh, it stopped working with, um, you know, the FLV uh, flash video stream and all that, like, and which still could be a thing, it could be something. I didn't go look up specifically that, <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> but I kept saying to myself, well, I can't change to MP4 because my machine can't handle it; it's too much work for my machine. I guess that's what I need to go look at. So, um, see, so yeah. So that's the only other desktop view I've got. Um, <clears throat> so I might as well change it back. So that didn't used to do that. Uh, used to when you had to rename them one at a time, you know, separately. I'm almost certain of that. I don't know why it doesn't always take when you want to rename it. Let's see. There we go get off of it and get back on then it then it works and so that doesn't you can do that while you're recording I it didn't used to be a good idea to do anything like that while you're recording it would usually end up making OBS use up all the memory on the machine and you didn't notice that it would crash your machine but it hasn't been doing that for probably well six or eight months I'd say <coughs> in Fedora and Fedora well, it hasn't been doing it probably let's just say for Fedora 28 it might have been when I switched from Fedora 23 to Fedora for door 28 that's what i think was the difference so let's go back to so we can go to one in desktop see now it's 
audio cam too. And since it works perfectly in recording, it's only streaming where I have the, the whole the application crashed. That's when I decided that there wasn't no sense in going and renaming all those. Uh, <clears throat> I can, I think I'll do, let's see, no, let, yeah, let's go ahead and try to fix what we got before we add cam. I was thinking about adding camera too, but I don't even have the, uh, of course, I've got a mic built in. Well, you have to turn, so you have to, I'm streaming with IP webcam, and you have three options with the uh, respect to audio when you stream. You can either stream audio and video, video only, or audio only. <clears throat> so I generally do video only on the cameras and then audio only on the ca on the phone that I want to do audio from. And I had three phones until recently, so it worked out really nicely. <clears throat> but now I'm going to give up. What I'm planning on doing is just giving up this camera one shot pointing at me like this and use camera two to point at the monitor and use camera one as my audio only. <clears throat> That's what I'm going to end up doing. Uh, I do that even if I have to just keep recording videos until something gets fixed because uh, it's not helping to use that tablet. And when I have the tablet, you know, no one else can use it. I did. I bought it from my mom for her to use. So, And it takes, I usually, once I get it, I keep it all day until I go to bed generally. <clears throat> so <clears throat> no point in that. I never know. She doesn't use it very often, I don't think, but, um, you know, if she wanted to use it, it wouldn't be there. And since it doesn't work well anyway, so, um, <coughs> excuse me, I guess, um, let me think. I'm probably going to have to take a cold pill. I'm starting to drain too much to talk, it seems. <coughs> Although it wouldn't help me very quickly, I guess I'll get me a <coughs> cough drop right now. That'll help me real quick, but it won't last too long. <clears throat> okay um what am i gonna do i had in my head what i was thinking i was gonna do okay let's look in the settings you can't look at them all i know that <clears throat> i did this before and it seems you can get by with uh <clears throat> if you don't change a bunch of stuff, you, you can get by with it while you're while you're recording. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> YouTube, YouTube gaming, streaming service. Yeah, now that all should be fine. I mean, it. I remember. Um, well, there, when I first set it up, I think. I might have mistyped the password and it didn't work, and then I typed it in right, and then it worked, you know. So, um, unless something has gone wrong, but I don't. That shouldn't crash your app, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, but and and also from what I read, now see the you, the X2 the uh, encoder, you can't change while you're recording, but you can change it if you're not recording. Um, you can look in the recording tab, but you just can't change anything, and all you do there is. Um, type standard this is working perfectly so now the recording format FLV let's see I guess that is the only place you can change that's where I guess I would have to change it like to mp4 that I haven't tried I guess I'm gonna have to try that because and there's uh, let's see what else I think YouTube still takes WebM it doesn't take OGV AUG video format So that might be an option is to say if you know if I put it in I'll put it in MP4 I guess I'll have to shut down the you know and, and put it in MP4 and then come back and if that works then uh, <clears throat> you know, at least it'll work and we'll see how it goes audio now that's oh yeah that's the other thing I had thought about and that does kind of make sense. Okay, this is all, well, you just can't do anything to it, but there's no need in changing that. That works fine. 160 um, bits is plenty for, you know, just speaking, not music. Uh, it's probably plenty for music, really, on the Internet. You don't want to go too high. And uh, I looked up what uh, re replay buffer is. You can actually... Uh, it's really generally used for gamers, but to do a re instant replay kind of thing. I don't know how you turn it on and off or anything, but uh, 
I think it gives you more options once you're. I don't see any new buttons. I turned it on and turned it off, I think, but if I remember right, but I don't remember any new buttons or anything. So I'm not quite sure how you use it, but I don't need it. So, yeah, so I guess before I do anything else, I'll try a different uh, codec. Oh, yeah, you can't. There is no other one. The XT64 is the only codec. And I'm sorry, this that's the video format. Well, they do have different codecs, uh, you know, attached that attached to them. But you can okay, you could do an F, uh, FLV or MP4 or WebM, and you could use X264, or you could use some of the others. I can't remember the names of them right now. Right. Well, there's X265 that's out, but I think it's not in there because um, it might be in like. Um, this is a new, I'm running the newest version on that's available for Fedora 29, but then there is a, a version, the version for Windows. And I, some of the, a lot of most of the posts I read were people running Windows, and I, they said, "Don't run X, X265 because it it will cause OBS to crash and stuff, and give problems. Or if it does work, it still give problems. So <clears throat> now you can change things like write control and stuff, but and uh, higher is less CPU." Yeah, it says higher, but then it gives the options only a very fast, super fast, ultra fast, faster, medium, slow, very slow, placebo. Okay, higher. So why don't they use numbers? If you're going to say higher and lower, use numbers, not words. <laughs> you could say faster is less CPU. Is that what you mean? So um, I guess that's what they mean. That keyframe is it's set to auto. Yeah, that can be very important. Oh, yeah. I don't remember if it crashed the application, but I do remember having problems with the stream not working right. And at the beginning, I think I had to change it to 10 or something like that. But that was way back when I very first started with OBS. Okay, so that's something to XT64 options. Well, I don't know anything about setting anything like that up. I haven't had any need to do anything like that. Okay, and audio, well, that's just the specific settings, like where you set your, where you can set your delay and stuff there, and uh, I don't have any delay right now. It didn't end up helping really. <clears throat> and uh, sample rate, stereo, that's all. YouTube doesn't take anything more than stereo. It doesn't take more channels. Um, audio sources. Yeah, oh, desktop audio one and two. Okay, there's my machine doesn't have more than one. I do have two USB audio sound cards that, I, but I'm not using them. But if I were to use one of them, then that might be, you know, you might be another source that you could actually use in here. <clears throat> but uh, and then video, so you can't do anything in here. Downscaler. Frames per second, and that's what I want to leave it on. Uh, this here, I don't really know which one would be better than the other. That they used to, I kind of knew those sort of things, but they've actually changed a lot over the years. So some of this, like I don't know what Bikeybik is, I haven't read about it, and looked up on, looked up on it. Then there's hotkeys, which I that's where I have set. See, Control Two hit goes to turn some mic on on and off. Control 4 turns the, the lapel mic from camera 2 on and off, and then the audio cam 2, and then mic aux, which is SM58 I'm talking on right now, at control 4. And I used to have control 3 for the uh, cam from uh, audio from camera 2, but uh, I, I just deleted all that because it was just making things more confusing since I can't use it anyway. There's a few advanced things, more stuff about video. All these things could potentially be... <clears throat> a problem if they're set with something that's not compatible with uh, YouTube, you know, but that's all been set the same since before I built this system, so I haven't changed any of it. And it, the only thing I changed, and then I hadn't stream, I didn't stream that day that I did the added audio cam 2, all those uh, extra audios from cam 2. The only thing I had changed was doing that. Anything in the settings I hadn't messed with other than 
<clears throat> Spring delay. Is that turned on? No, it's not turned on. The enable's right there. You can do a stream delay, and so you cache some of your up to six megabyte of video on your machine before it goes out. But it makes it really confusing with uh, trying to look at your previews to sync everything. And there's already a, I guess, an, a natural delay, you know, just from the when you watch your stream back. When I watch my stream back on the laptop, there's already a probably about 20 seconds. <clears throat> Um, maybe more so I don't add any more to it the reason that would help is um, if your machines working hard uh, it gives it a well if you're actually if your internet connection is not fast enough as uh, maybe it'll help some if your machines working hard like it can um, it's not having to do it all in real time you know giving it a little buffer but um, if your if your internet connection wasn't fast enough, which you only need about one and a half two megabits up, and I got ten so for the streaming, so I tried it on and off both, and I think I like it better off. It's defaulted to off, and then the automatically reconnect is very good. It it's helped me lots of times recently. Network bind to IP default. Hmm. I would imagine the fault would be the IP of your machine, <clears throat> but that still wouldn't be, I don't think, anything to help me. So, the only thing I can see, really, from what I've read and trying to look at help files, I guess, what was it I thought? YouTube. Oh, what if YouTube? Does YouTube support FLV? Yeah. I guess I, before I start just changing things, maybe I'll do a search or two. Yeah. So we'll cancel that. And um, I haven't looked. They could have changed it and not, not, not to, <clears throat> you know, if they don't email anybody and tell them, they don't, sure don't call anybody. I was going to say they haven't called and told me, but of course, that's pretty far fetched. But it's not so far-fetched that they wouldn't have system automatically email users, you know, and say, uh, hey, they could even narrow it down to, like, people who use, it's making my, just waiting on the browser to open up. Earlier today, my internet actually started acting up. I hope it's not doing that today. Yeah, it's just a system resource to see. CPU 23 on um, OBS, which is staying that way, and then it was 28 on Firefox because it was opening up. And now it's good. I was afraid I was going to have trouble with my internet, and I need to. I'm going to close this. Um, that uses up resources, and I guess I'll close this too now that I'm running. Keep it open when I'm just doing a video, so that I can know that my video is being made and it didn't crash. That part didn't crash, you know. Sometimes it quits even though OBS is just running fine, you know. And well, it hasn't in a long time, but it has done it. Okay, let's see. I'm not sure what I want to... There we go. Supported coding. Okay. Go ahead and get started with where I want to save these. That's a YouTube help page. Let's go there first.
Okay. For 4K, 2160 optimized for low latency is not available. All streams will be optimized for normal latency. Okay. But it, oh, you, you can stream in 4K? Hmm. I see a lot of people saying you can't really do that. Not only that, but they don't. That YouTube doesn't really support real 4K. They call it real 4K video. Uh, up, you know, after you upload it and all that. Well, it's pretty high resolution there. What they're saying they'll support though. Okay, I'm doing 720. So, well, let's look at yeah, let's look at 720 first. Oh, I'm not doing 60 frames. This is what I'm doing. Video bit rate 1500 to 1400. Let's see if that's what we got here. Twenty-five hundred. Hmm. I wonder. It's on twenty-five hundred. Oh, that followed me. We'll let, we'll take advantage of that then. Oh, 15,000 to 4, 1,500, oh, 1,500, 1,500 to 4,000. I'm at 2,500, 2,500, so I should be fine. Okay. Now, just for our curiosity, 1080p, 3,000 to 6,000. And I probably could do that just fine if I wasn't streaming my cameras over the Wi-Fi. I think that's my limitation that I've had. I may, if I, like I said, if I get cameras that, are, if I end up getting uh, IP webcam, you know, IP webcams or security cams uh, that run over Ethernet cables with my gigabit routers, I should be able to do 1080p. I just wouldn't just I would just really not be able to use the phones at all then you know but that'd be all right but that's a whole nother thing I just want to be able to stream again right now okay so that's not a problem at all 1280 by 720 I'm doing uh, 1920 by 1080 oh well okay here's what I'm doing in actuality my palette is 1920 by 1080 and I stream my cameras over my local network at 720p so uh, I mean it canceled oh that made the whole program jump over here into come on machine is not happy doesn't seem or OBS is not happy uh oh is it crash no it didn't crash Probably wasn't happy with what I was doing. I guess we better go see if we got a video or not. Yeah, it's still making a video. So, <clears throat> um, okay, so if I do cams one and two, that palette is 1080p, and it just so happens that you can. Uh, well, that's what you can get. You know, you can see that it's wide and very narrow, or very wide and not very tall when you have 10, 720p side by side. That's what I have. So what I'm sending to YouTube is 1080p. That's why I have to think it through. 1920 by 1080. And so, uh, you know, what I'm streaming on my local network to OBS only matters to OBS. It doesn't matter to YouTube. But the bitrate is fine. That's within parameters that are allowable. That's been like that forever, so I haven't messed with none of that. That keyframe deal, all that, it wouldn't cause it to crash. It shouldn't. I mean, it never did. What it did was cause buffer, you know, video to keep getting behind and buffering. And I could maybe raise that up if I, once I get back to streaming, because it has been getting poor health, good health, poor health, good health a lot lately. It's always a possibility that 
like when it crashed or something, one or two little things went back to the defaults, you know, inside of all these settings that that I that I had changed. I didn't change very much though. I did have several things, five or more things changed before I got into Fedora 28, but since I was in Fedora 28, I only changed the very few things that I really thought I needed. And it was working flawlessly for a long time until the last couple months. I've got my laptop over there running. I've got it running and a web browser running and it on my live page. And of course, I'm not anywhere near going live yet, am I? <clears throat> so I guess I should. Um, it'll be all hot and wore out. Just sitting there running the live page. I think I'll shut it down until I'm actually ready to use it. <clears throat> I get. I thought. I, I was thinking I would rename those and I would be able to. I'd be have it fixed. <laughs> but I completely forgot what I had happened the last time. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> um. Now. Oh, let's go back to our search results and see if we can find anything else. Okay. Let's put that in. Let's put that in YouTube though. That's it's not about OBS. That's about YouTube. That's YouTube video. Yeah, In info. Okay, now. Oh, <coughs> encoder. <coughs> okay, that was the next thing. H two sixty four. Four point one for up to ten eighty p thirty frames per second. Five, 5.1, 5.1. Um, I don't know which version of H.264 I'm running. Don't know how I'd tell that. But it was all fine, so I wouldn't think. That, oh, keyframe frequency. Recommended two seconds. Do not exceed four seconds. Oh, okay. So it's auto, it's on auto and it's at four. So I'm going to leave that alone. Audio, AAC or MP3. Let's go see what audio and bit rate encoding. It you can only use CBR. Okay, that's probably why. See, OBS is real good about setting what works with the streaming service that you choose. See, when you go in here and you choose which streaming service, it sets everything to. The, what should what that you know they've already learned is the best thing so I've got CBR I've got three frames four seconds that's in, that's I didn't know what that was measured what the oh it says seconds yeah but it's on auto <clears throat> oh zero is auto so I manually set that I think z, uh, zero is the default um, I could well I, I remember before I'm not going to change a bunch of things right now you know, you change three or four things, you won't know what affected what. But, uh, yeah, they recommend, what a, they recommend to, somewhere, when I was looking at it, yeah, right there, recommend to. Okay, so I, I was probably wrong about being 10 then. So uh, that does seem like a lot. Uh, <clears throat> Well, oh yeah, keyframe. Okay, well, every four seconds it looks at a frame and it sets it as a keyframe, and that's for, I think, for syncing. You know, my sync problems. Maybe I, I have had that for a very long time. I wonder if that would help my sync problems, because well, uh, that's only. But see, that's only. I don't know if that could have. The keyframe is what's sent out to YouTube, not what's. Or your source is coming into OBS. I don't know. So anyway, um, CBR. Okay, advanced setting. Recommended advanced settings. Let's see. Square pixel square. Pixel aspect ratio. Where is that? I don't see that. 
Maybe they meant advanced in that section. Yeah, they might have. <clears throat> okay. I was wondering about the. Well, it doesn't tell you what kind of audio you've got. Replay buffer in there, anyway. Recording format. Use stream encoder to record your video. This is all on recording. Okay. Uh, custom buffer size. Very fast. Profile. Baseline. Main. Tune. Film. Animation. Grain. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Actually add grain to it. Uh, film, make it look like film, animation. <clears throat> and if you're doing animation, that might be useful. Still image, like that. If you're doing like a showing a slideshow, I guess. Fast decode zero. Those have just been like that, and I haven't changed them. I uh, don't know how you pixel aspect ratio. I do not see that. It's probably it might be there, and I just can't see it. But uh, progressive scan two B frames, one reference frame. Frame types. Not in there either. Bicubic sharpening, scaling, 16 samples. Okay. Advanced audio recording, replay, automatically reconnect. Yeah, that's not where they're talking about. Okay, so <clears throat> I don't know where you'd put any of that advanced stuff in there. And I'm in the advanced mode, so I don't see it, so... Entropy coding. Yes, I don't see any of that stuff. Audio, 44 1 hertz. Well, kilohertz, that's where I'm at. Audio bit rate, 128 kilobits stereo. Oh. It is at 160. I have to stop when I stop the recording to change that. Now, that's something that I could conceive would crash it, you know. Uh, shouldn't crash. Well, you know, if, if the YouTube does, it won't accept it. Usually what, I've had the wrong settings before, and what it would do in the past, YouTube would just say, can't start your stream, check your settings. You've got something that don't jive. And uh, you wouldn't think it would crash the app. So, um, and the only thing I, re uh, but that is something to consider because, um, uh, but the things I read about that people were, but they were really all just saying, try this, try that. And not anybody really said, yeah, that fixed it. But they were talking about changing the, changing the uh, codec, you know, the encoder. <clears throat> so, um, okay, there's something I might want to do there. I'll take a screenshot of that right there to remind me. I might go ahead and change the audio bit rate to 128. That wouldn't make it sound bad or anything. You wouldn't even be able to tell it. I don't know why it's on 160. And that reminds me of something I keep forgetting. I keep starting to mention it, and then I forget. Uh, I don't see it there. But it's been like this forever, and it was working fine. Yeah, I think getting into those settings does seem to make... It might cause it to work a little harder. So it doesn't show it to be working harder. But it sure does take a while to respond. So can't get back into There we go. Okay, so um, I'll do it on the uh, Cam 2 since it, well, that way it can't inter you know, interrupt, possibly interrupt my audio. I'm talking on the mic. So it's going to, I think it's, yeah, in advanced properties. Uh, actually, oh, it shows them all no matter which one you get there. However you get there, it shows them all. Cam 2, desktop, and mic aux. Now, I wondered if, see, it's selected, four, four tracks are selected. And I wondered if, uh, <clears throat> you know, that could be causing a problem. Because YouTube only, I know that, that YouTube only takes two tracks, but it's been that way forever. And it hasn't uh, caused a problem in the past, you know. So I didn't expect that to be a problem. And I thought if I ever did plug in my uh, other 
USB deals, you know, they wouldn't be working. Of course, they may it might automatically pop that in there if you plug them in and seize it. I don't know, but I didn't take it out <clears throat> um, <clears throat> because it already it was working for a very always for a long time like that. It was defaulted at four, I think, <clears throat> and uh, I just happened to notice it not too long ago, and I thought, well, no use in changing it now. No telling what. Uh, I even thought there could be something in the back end of the way things work that it actually needs to four and then it mixes them down to two you know and it is mixing it down to two i'm almost certain of that uh, i'm not completely certain but um, let's go ahead and look back at the i'll just leave them on the same spot since it keeps bringing this to workspace two every time i whenever i have that uh, properties and then click over here to workspace two it brings them together okay so yeah i might could change that <coughs> Uh, I'm starting to think that maybe I should change. Well, I'll, get, I'll do one thing at a time, I guess, but maybe I should change the things that I think could help. Uh, and just, you know, one thing at a time and see. Okay, HTML5 five streaming mini browser support HTML5 and uh, either the H264 codec or WebM. Now, see that? Okay, so really that's. Uh, the only two codecs I guess you could choose from is H.264 and WebM. I'm not sure that WebM is in supported by OBS. I don't think that it's actually. I don't think you can choose anything else but H.264. I need to look at that. Okay, so I'm going to leave that like it is. So that's the only thing I've seen that could <clears throat> perhaps. Um, I'm going to do another screenshot of that just so it'll kind of help me. Kind of help me. Um, <clears throat> I just now realized that one of the thing you know I was thinking of shutting it down and um, I gotta move it back it's driving me nuts I don't know where it is can't find it <clears throat> um, thinking of shutting it down so I could change the code uh, to off of the H two sixty four but actually you can't oh what I was thinking of I was thinking of changing the but the, here's the thing I guess I better I'll open it up one more time okay so the output this is the streaming output this is the part that's not working you know it's what's crashing um, I could put that on O, I guess just to see <clears throat> um, and uh, this is recording so if I change that to mp4 let's see and then it says use streaming encoder. You could use another encoder, I guess. Um, but that shouldn't affect the uh, whatever I save the file as. That's what this is. <clears throat> shouldn't affect what uh, what's happening with the stream. Uh, and actually, it doesn't take MP4. It takes. Wait a minute. Well, the FLV is what I'm saving the file as here on my machine. And like I said. Uh, if I try to do MP4, it overworks the machine. Um, and they're good quality. They don't, you know, it doesn't seem to look like, uh, they, I can't really tell a difference. Uh, I have saved some MP4s and I can't see a difference. Used to, you could see a visible difference. Well, you could with YouTube F FLVs that you download, but that, you know, I think they were giving you the lowest quality. And now this, yeah, that's something. Okay, so I could change this to 128. That makes some sense to try that. Um, that to zero might be helpful. Actually, that would probably you know might be helpful in uh, <clears throat> not get, you know keeping a healthy stream. But it seems to me that I put it up onto four because it wasn't healthy the way it was, you know, uh, all the time. But maybe the, something's changed. So yeah. Okay, so um, 
Well, since uh, YouTube actually says right there, audio bitrate 128, and I'm on 160, or whatever it was it said, I think I'll change it to 128. Might, be, might need to co copy and paste that in there. <clears throat> but I can't do that while I'm making a video, so <clears throat> I'll go ahead and uh, stop now. And... Uh, Go ahead and stop now and then do that and then come back and see if it will stream. Okay.